Hi everybody, welcome back to Film Valor. I'm Adam. I'm Jameson. And uh, we're getting pretty close to Halloween, and uh, we thought we wanted to get into the holiday spirit by telling you our top Halloween holiday movie. And uh, recently we just did an episode of our top favorite uh, horror movies, and uh, if you want to see that, we could put a link in the description below. And uh, really, let's get into it. Yeah. Um, so, I think the main part about Halloween, Jameson, is that, you know, it, it starts off when you're a kid. Yeah. And uh, I guess as you get older, you see different horror movies, Halloween movies. Um, and But really, I thought the ones that really stuck were just the ones, you know, the classic, you know, kid movies. You know, nothing yeah. really special. It wasn't scary. It wasn't bloody. It was just... Uh, they gave you a certain kind of feeling. Yeah. You know? And that that's important, I think, on Halloween is the feeling. Yeah, just being, you know, into the whole season, you know, it's the fall... You know, people have like you know pumpkin everything. You know, yeah. the the decorations, just the atmosphere of the whole thing. Yeah, it, it's really it's it's almost like the uh, polar opposite of Christmas in a way. Yeah, it is. But it gives you the same kind of feeling of just that. Yeah, warmth. yeah, right of the season and everything else, and also the leaves changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and I think uh, you know, especially Halloween movies are something that you know goes along with the territory. Yeah. You know, and uh, for me, I think the the Halloween movie that really stuck out for me, that really kind of, you know, like I know it's Halloween when I watch this movie. Yeah. Is, is pretty much uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, even though it's kind of... Yeah. It's like a dual... It could work in Halloween, it could work in Christmas. Great but, choice. You know, and... Uh, Let, let's talk about that. Like, why is it your... Why do you think it's the go-to Halloween movie? You know, we did it kind of by year, like 2018, but why do you think this is the this is the one that you choose? I think for me, really, it was just, uh, as we said before, it was really capturing the environment, the, uh, 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 the, uh, but just the, the whole, you know, imagery of Halloween and just yeah. really capturing these different, uh, creatures, different monsters, yeah. uh, you know, living in this, uh, in this town of, and just, you know, and just being dedicated to Halloween for, you know, Yearly. Yeah, know? and I think one of the... I was trying to analyze sort of, uh, as you was thinking about Nightmare Before Christmas, the, 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 you know, the appeal to it and the popular nature of it and everything else. And I think it's because it's a musical that's done as a stop motion. All that different stuff makes it very unique, right? Yeah. And, and it makes it something that really stands out. And I just remember seeing it as a little kid, too, and, and feeling like uh, there's something really, truly special about this. The culmination of the music and the set design or the little models that they have, mm. right? Um, especially like when he's in the woods, you know, choosing yeah, the different right, places yeah. to go to. Uh, what do you think is your favorite moment in the movie? Um, well, I, I think it's definitely, I think as you said, it's the music. I, I, I've been, yeah. uh, I mean, I love the music. I think Danny Elfman's a, a genius in, in how he put it together. Yeah. Um, Amazing that he sung the songs. I, yeah, I never he, knew that he was the one yeah, that sang Yeah, I, I believe he, uh, he, he sung for Jack, I, I think. Yeah. And uh, and I just really, and, and that's really, I just like the character, you know. I think it was the music, the characters, uh, uh, just the whole scope of it. But for, for me, the big moment, uh, uh, well, of course the intro is great. Oh you yeah, know, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. I mean, yeah, uh, just a, the whole, you know, just like flying into the whole town, and uh, yeah. it's it's such a great opening. Yeah, it's really well and, designed. Uh, and uh, just you know, just seeing all the the monsters there in town, you know, it's you know, you see people coming out of like slime and creatures hiding under the beds and yeah. stairs. It's a and, lot of little clever things in the movie. You know, the yeah. movie has these hidden little gems that if you watch it many many times you see like oh there's that guy in the back that's like doing his own thing and it's really right. well yeah it's cool in that sense it's really a world it's its own world or worlds plural you know yep. um no it's great and and also i think as you said the, the stop motion really kind of brought it to life because i think yeah. you know if it was just a regular cartoon musical cartoon i mean it wouldn't have been as impactful no it's because you know? it's a different form of technology and everything else and uh, and and how and how it was pushing the medium really I think and just again doing a musical to stop motion is just an it's an insane idea when you think about it I mean could you imagine breaking that down you know thing by thing and how it's done I mean that's crazy you yeah. know so um, all right I should talk about my movie right? yes so let's talk about my favorite Halloween holiday movie and it's always been in my family for a long time but the movie is Hocus Pocus. 
and I know there's some Snickers in the audience, but the reality is, is this is one of the greatest Halloween movies of all time. I don't care what you say you know, the people, out there. The, yeah, the people who snicker at it, you know, deep down inside, they're like, yeah, yeah I they, love that they, movie, but they, they don't love want it. to show it. They love it. I saw, I saw an inflammatory article from Vox Media, which now I don't trust anymore. Vox. Oh, and, and they said that uh, uh, Hocus Pocus is a vile piece of cinema. That's a lie. That is a that is a that's a bold faced lie. This is one of the best movies ever made. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, I mean, between Bette Midler and 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 Sarah I mean, Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker, Parker and yeah. everybody that's in this movie really came and gave their all. Oh yeah. And uh, and it's one of those things that just creates that feeling of Halloween. You know, you can sit there and you know uh, and uh, put up your Halloween decorations while watching this movie and have not only enjoy the almost creepiness of the movie. I think at some points. The way that it establishes the witch thing and the book is actually kind of scary, especially when they're flying through, especially to a younger kid. But when they're flying through the sky and the way they're laughing and stuff like that, it's kind of Ben Midler's kind of scary in this movie. But of course, she's very funny and she's wildly entertaining. On top of you know when they they sing "I Put a Spell on You," oh yeah, great, is one uh, of the greatest know, moments. Oh yeah. In any, I would say, any holiday movie, maybe any movie, when you think about it as like maybe a top 100 type of situation. Well, they're both ha Halloween movies and both musical, kind of. Yeah, right. Know? So they're exactly. musical numbers, at least. Yeah, that's very true. And you know what? There's, the two, there's other parallels. Yeah, the same year, we wound up choosing a movie that came out, uh, both movies came out in 1993, which is the year I was born. Mm -hmm. But it just happened to be that that was a great year for Halloween cinema. You know, I don't know what yeah, it was. I, I mean, I watch them every year. I can't. Yeah, can you imagine, like, that's the year that Hocus Pocus and uh, Nightmare Before Christmas came out? Like, that's that's pretty bizarre. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, uh, hats off to them. I, I think, um, you know, it, these are movies that create a certain feeling for you, and we had a lot of fun putting this Halloween, these Halloween segments for Film Valor together because it created a feeling in uh, in us of going out and I, I almost like trick or treating and all that different stuff. It's it's the the lore of Halloween. Some people don't understand it, but the people that get it really get it and they love it. So we wanted to put that together for those people, uh, and then just uh, and and you know share that with you guys. Um, On another note, what, what was your favorite part of Pocus Pocus? My oh my 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 favorite part is um, mm, that's a good question. I. I I like the beginning of Hocus Pocus. Mm. I really do, and I think it's one of the strongest parts of the movie when you're getting to meet Max for the first time, and when you start to see you see the two surfer guys or not. Uh, I'm saying they're the bullies. Yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, all that stuff is really well done, and they you know you you feel bad. You wind up uh, even though Max is kind of a jerk when you think about it, you yeah. kind of feel bad for Max because he gets bullied. You know, and if I don't think if he didn't get bullied, you wouldn't feel as sympathetic. Well, yeah, and also I think a lot of people could relate to that. You know, moving to a different town, different yeah, state, and being and of very course, you difficult. Would be, you would have, you know, you would have your shell on. Right, exactly, you know? and it's it's a very difficult experience, and it's and that's kind of what that's why Hocus Pocus is good. It doesn't yeah. rely on uh, its. Uh, witches and stuff like that it really attempts to build actually its own world i would say and its own characters and even the bullies have great some of the most memorable lines in the movie you know and that's something to be said for the writing i think that's done in this movie but also the performances uh, and everything else and the characters are really likable I characters mean, are great there's I mean, no doubt they all have their own challenge to the, they all have their own challenges and things to overcome and things to do in the movie uh you know um and uh, and you you wind up liking the dynamic between the three of them mm. uh, as well, and how funny the younger sister is, yeah. and, and 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 stuff like that. I just saw an interview with Thora Birch where she still keeps in contact with her, uh, uh, the co-stars of Hocus Pocus, which oh, is yeah. great. What is it? Uh, guy who played Max was Omri Katz, I believe. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's his name. Good actor. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good in the movie, and again, very charming and everything else. And and you like that he's. I like that he's not like just a goody two shoe. You know what I mean? Like he really is kind of. No. He's he's kind of hard edged and everything else. Uh, and that I he's think not that's stupid. Some... Right. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. he's, he's yeah. very like. Uh... What's the word? He, you know, he's suspicious, or he's you know, he's not easily fooled. And yeah, as he says, he's skeptical. You know, skeptical. He's a skeptic. Like, all this hocus pocus. Yeah, you know, and, right. And that's exactly you know, he doesn't trust anyone. Right. Really. That's why it's a great character because he winds up being confronted with the thing that would be the most outlandish for him, which is a bunch of witches. Right. It's, Musical it's pretty, witches. It's pretty much. That's great. The worst transition into like. Breaking someone out of their shell in a way. Yeah, right, exactly, and it really is like a coming of age film, yeah. and, and and understanding, you know, who 
who he is as a person, who he is as a brother, who he is as as uh, as a, as a man. I would yeah. say, right? And that that's what makes Hocus Pocus so good. And the whole movie is about his virginity, you know. So it's about you know the virgin oh, yeah, and everything yeah, else. Black so it really Black. is a truly a coming of age story in the sense that they they you know through the process he winds up. Uh, figuring out who he is in, in his own skin and everything else. So anyway, Hocus Pocus and The Nightmare Before Christmas is uh, our Halloween picks for 2018. Please below in the comments, please say your holiday pick, uh, Halloween holiday film picks for this year, for any year. Uh, and also, if you want to ask us any questions uh, about our films, we love talking about them because we love them so much. Um, I think that's everything for now. So uh, I, I hope you guys enjoy your Halloween, and uh, that's all from Film Valor for this week. Take care.